Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we are from Between Technology Malaysia. We we'll show you on how to fix LED TV that's having a bluish display and also a USB overcurrent issue. Okay, right now with us we have a LED TV Toshiba 32L2550VM. So we already switch on the TV and as you can see the display is quite blue. Uh, just ignore the vibration because the vibration came from our camera so you also can see there is a sign inside written on it USB over current in Chinese language so basically this TV is having two issues first from the LED bed light and another one from the switching IC for the USB okay so first of all we will go for the bed light issue we will fix the bed light issue first and then after that we will fix the switching IC for the USB so we need to disassemble this TV first and this is how it looks like from the inside right now we are measuring one unit of the LED and as you can see it stayed in the, uh, at the meter 2.7 which means the LED is 3 volt uh, 3V of LED so we, we will try to light up the whole stripe And you can see the light of the LED is blue, kind of blue or purple. This make the display turn turn into blue. So lucky that we have only 32 inch uh, today. So it has only 10 unit of LED. So we'll just uh, replace all the 10 unit. So this is how after the LED has been replaced. As you can see, the LED light is already white. Uh, except for this type one LED is not functioning so we will go for the one LED that may be faulty so we change the LED and then after that we are good to test the whole stripe the whole LED whether it's function or not okay so this is how the LED looks from the inside how it works so the, all the LED is function, all LED is functioning. So I think we already fixed the bluish issue. So we can assemble it back and test the display to see whether the problem is fixed hundred percent or not. Okay, so we already assembled the TV. And then the TV is already switched on. So let's take a look how the display will be. Okay, Alhamdulillah, it seems that the sign of the Toshiba is much more clear and the sign of the USB overcurrent written in Chinese is also clear. So that means we already fixed the bluish issue. issue. Uh, again just ignore the vibration because the vibration came from our uh, camera as I mentioned earlier so we are good uh, with the LED so right now we will go to fix the USB overcurrent issue as a technician uh, most of the time we will use two methods to fix this one first we will remove the IC and uh, not making any replacement by doing that, the USB overcurrent issue will be fixed, but the USB cannot be used anymore. So we will re uh, do a replacement instead because we want to use the USB function. So first thing first, we need to take out the main board and bring it to the work uh, workstation area so that we can make a replacement. So as you can see, there is this IC label IC160 the switching IC and uh, at the top of the heat sink we already have an uh, we already have an IC standby for replacement so you use a blower quick and fast quick and clean because there is a lot of component beside the IC we don't want to all the components get affected during uh, the process and then this is the new IC 
we will try to clean the IC using a toothbrush and a contact cleaner so we will have a better visual to determine which pin is the pin number one because when you want to put the IC back uh, at its base you need to follow the direction because at the IC uh, base as you can see there is an arrow uh, on top of the label IC160 there is an arrow which means uh, it, is a, it is a first pin so on the top of the IC there is a dot mark to tell you to show that uh, it is a first pin so just make sure the dot and the arrow is aligned so use whatever tools you need to use uh, to help you to place the IC back at the main board and on this video we are using sponger and tweezer to help us out in order to solder the IC back at its base just be careful and be patient because you don't want the other component to get affected because there is a resistor there is a capacitor so we don't want all the resistor and the capacitor and the capacitor get affected take as, as much time as you want and touch it up until you're satisfied until all the pins are soldered to the base Okay, I think everything is already set up, so we just clean uh, the working area so that there is an, uh, no more particle left and the contact will be clean, as clean as water. So, recheck all the pins. Okay, seems everything is works fine, everything is good, so we can assemble this member back to the TV. Okay, we are about to assemble to put to install the mainboard back to the TV. Just make sure all the wires and all the cables that need to be attached to the mainboard is installed properly. Because uh, the mainboard need to receive some voltage from the power board so that it can send the, uh, another voltage back to the power board to trigger the bed light. And then the LVDS cable also need to be installed properly because it will send some signal and voltages to the TCON in order to power up the panel. So during this uh, test period, you don't have to put any screw because it's already grounded uh, through the power board but just for safety purposes one screw is more than enough but since uh, we're confident that we already fixed the problem so we put all the screws why we put one screw only because if there is any error or the problem is not fixed we don't uh, we don't waste much time to take the main board out again so I want to share some of my experience while handling this kind of problem. Most of the time it's happened to Toshiba LED TV and only a few came from Sony LED TV. I don't know why maybe the IC that they are using in this main board for the USB purposes is not a good quality IC, switching IC.
so all the screw has been screwed in the main board to the TV so we will find uh, our USB pen drive and try to play some movie So everything's check. The main board is installed. Ticon is installed. The power board is okay. So we will try to switch on. Okay, the TV is already switched on. So let us wait for the USB pen drive. We will try to see whether this TV can read our pen drive or not. So that we will know that we we'll, we fix or not uh, the USB over current issues. Okay, here come our USB uh, and then this is one of our method to check whether the remote control is working or not. Just using any kind of camera and try to check for the reflect of the IR LED. If the IR LED present, that means your remote control is work fine. So as you can see, there is no sign uh, of USB over current anymore, which means we already fixed. We successfully fixed the USB over current issue. So currently we are reading the USB uh, that we attach to the TV and let us play some movie. Okay, Alhamdulillah, everything seems to be good and this means that we already fixed both LED backlight issue that turned into blue and the USB over current issue. So the only thing left right now is to change the language from Chinese to English because I don't understand Chinese and I don't speak Chinese either. So just go to the menu and go to the setting options and change the language from there. Okay, I think that's all from us today on this video. Hopefully, for those who are watching, you will gain something. And if you have any question, you can leave it uh, at the comment side and we will try to reply as soon as possible. Okay, that's all from, uh, from us. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.